just get comfy. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about everything plants, sort of. We're talking about my top five favorite plants, the one that I own right now, and I love all of them. Don't get me wrong about that, but these are the plants that have been on my wish list, and I've just, just been, it took me so much energy and time to get them, so yeah, it's very hard to find like these type of plants in Dubai, and you really just have to keep looking at the website and just getting your hands on it as quick as possible, so. So if you guys are interested and you wanna talk about plants and stuff like that, then. So I also want to state that I am no plant expert and I just recently fell in love with plants around like a little bit before quarantine time and I just and I just realized that I really have this passion for plants and I don't know so I'm no plant expert so I'm, just take whatever I say with a grain of salt what works for me might not work for you because like it really also depends on the amount of sunlight their plants get and this space around it so yeah so just take your food to salt okay guys so the first plant i want to talk about is the chinese money plant can we just take a moment to just take it in the number one thing that i was like okay you know what this is my top number one plant that i really want is because the foliage is like a round circle and is that just not the cutest thing then i don't know what to say anymore so yeah, this one I call him Mochi, and I've been checking on the website everywhere to get my hands onto him, but he was like out of stock in every website. So I just kept checking like every day, like a crazy lady, just refreshing every day, and it suddenly was in stock in one of the websites here called Green Souk, I believe. So I quickly like jumped on it. I just put him in this really cute green IKEA pot, and I just I just love him, and he's. There's new growth right now in the middle. So these plants, from what I do my research and from what works for me, I'm unfocused again. So from the research that I've done, okay, and take everything with a grain of salt, everything I say, okay, because it might not work for you. So don't blame me if your plants die. So I put him not near, not really near the window, but sort of like maybe 40 centimeters away from the window and I don't put it like directly into the sun because the foliage is very delicate and I broke one of them while touching it so it, it's it can break easily so so I don't directly put him into the sun but I do make sure that he gets some sun because I mean all plants need sun so all my plants I'm gonna say I water it when the soil is dry so I will stick my finger like around this much into the soil and if it comes out like dry then I water it if it comes out still wet and there's like soil a lot of soil sticking on my finger then I don't water it because I have more problem of underwatering than overwatering which is a little bit better because if you overwater it's so easy for your plants to die on you so just wait for the soil to dry and just water between water water between waterings let it dry let the soil dry between waterings That's what it's and also the cool thing about these plants is that they grow like little plants on the side so it's it's like also called like a friendship plant which is very interesting because you can actually just plant I'm going to show you, you can actually just plant it into another pot and then share it with your friends so I think that's really cute so this has been my number one top wish list and I finally got her him her I don't know are you here or she so my second one is the alocasia and it just looks like this and it is it just looks so interesting so yeah it kind of looks like an elephant ear i don't know if they call it the elephant ear or something elephant something yeah i don't have a name for him yet so i wanted to call him dumbo as in like you know from the movie dumbo but it kind of sounds bad so i I've never knew that this kind of plant existed, okay? So when I saw it on the internet, I was like, I need to get my hands onto him. And I bought him from the website called Plant Shop, and they have like really good um, choices of plants, so I would check them out. But they do get out of stock very easily, so if you see it available. And I would definitely not put this plant in direct sunlight because, okay, when they first gave it to me, it was it looked like it was a rotting a little bit. So it was like super wet. It was drenched in water. So I really wanted to dry it out just a little bit. 
and I put it into the sun for too long and I burnt the leaves. I burnt the leaves. It's like, you know when you step on your dog's tail and you feel so bad? That's how, it's exactly how I felt. I really love this guy and I think the leaves are very interesting. It's like a very dark green and it's very like in your face and I just love it. It looks so exotic. So I don't really know what to say anymore and with the soil I let it dry like I said before I water it. I just make sure that I clean the leaves a lot all the time because it gets really, it gets really dusty here so I make sure I clean the leaves and make it look nice and shiny you know so this is my second one. Okay so the third plants are the peperomias and I love them because it's kind of like a round shape the same as the Chinese money plant but it's not as round as that one but yeah I got two types but right here the first one I got is actually just like a normal one but yeah, it's just green but I just love how the leaves look very nice and it's round and like the foliage is pretty thick but then I really wanted the one that's like variegated so I got the white marble peperomia and I got this from plant shop as well and it's 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 massive and I didn't pay like that much for it as well, so that was very nice on my pocket, you know. And I just love how the leaves look. It's like nice and variegated, so like outside would be white, and then like in the middle has like sort of like a greenish color, and it's just very, very pretty. And I just, when I looked at it, I fell in love with it. Love at first sight exists, guys. It did exist. So yeah, same with the soil. I wait before what I wait. When it's dry before watering i do that for all of my plants like all of my plants but some of them i do wait until the soil gets completely dry but that's only for some i might talk about that in another video right now it's looking sort of happy i really need to clean the leaves again because i haven't cleaned the leaves since i got it so i'm gonna have to wipe that down but yeah this is my what number are we on now so this is my third favorite plant this guy is a heavy one. So my next is of course the Monstera Deli Deliciosa, Deliosa, Deci Deliciosa or something like that. I don't know, I don't know. And I got her not so long ago actually and she started putting out two new growths. So this was the new leaf that she just put out. This was the new leaf that came out and there's also another growth happening right here somewhere. but. I will show you in like a close-up video. This was my all-time, also number one favorite plant that I really wanted and it was like so trendy on Instagram and everything and I was like, I need to get it. They're like very expensive here in Dubai. They can go up to like 300 dirhams, but I got the small size for 80 dirhams. But then I checked from the website in Green Silk and it was like only 60 dirhams now. So you might want to jump on that. And I make sure that she gets some light but not too strong but i do put her more into the window because like when they gave it to me the leaves was like getting brown and yellow which means like a deficit in light and too much water so i do wait for the soil to dry out before i water her i don't know what she's saying about this but see i'm gonna put her away because she's so i saw this next plant I saw this next plant all over Instagram and I don't even know if you guys are ready for this because I wasn't ready when I saw it online. And it is the polka dot begonia, also known as also known as the begonia maculata, I think. And it is the most beautiful plant I have ever laid my eyes onto. It just looks so it looks like a very rare plant and very exotic, which it is because it's very hard to get your hands onto this. So once I saw it in stock. On the website i think it was plant shop i saw it in stock i like i was freaking out with my friends and my friends were here and they were like she was like just get it just get it because you're gonna just keep thinking about it and then you're gonna regret it when it goes out of stock so i just got it because... please take a moment just to look at the foliage and there's and it's like called polka dot because it does have like white spots on it and i just find that to be the most prettiest thing i have ever seen in my life just if I could marry a plant this would be it and I just recently got her there's water everywhere now I am having a little bit trouble trying to keep this plant happy like I don't know what it is but the foliage does not look as healthy as I would want it to 
but because it looks like the tips are a little bit dry and I don't know what it is because it's been watered and I do put it in like a bit of sunlight but not too harsh and I try to keep my humidity high as well but I don't know what it is maybe I think it's not enough humidity so I bought a humidifier how do you call it a humidity sensor so I'm just gonna really check like how humid my room is but I'm just gonna see why but yeah I don't really know how to take care of yet but I'm really trying and I don't want her to die so yeah we'll just have to see how it goes if you guys are like experts in begonias and already are taking care of them and know what's up maybe just leave it in the comments below maybe I'll try it and it will help I really love this plant I think it's very beautiful and yeah it just the growth is a bit crazy I mean this is pretty big I got it pretty big. I did pay like 150 dirhams for it, so it's just really beautiful and very, very beautiful. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video, and I'll probably do like another video about plants because they're my life right now, and I just I don't know what I've been doing without them for the past how many years. So yeah, thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll see you guys in my next. Video. Bye. <laughs> I better be focused. I'm like some race.